Hi, this is Scott. I'm with Field Service Tech here at Powell for another weekly maintenance tip. This week we will be discussing how to simulate a rose mount to ensure that your PLC, your HMI, and the MagFlow transmitter is in sync and displaying everything like it's supposed to. Um, what we'll be doing is going through the showing you that how to go through the menus to set up the 4 to 20 to simulate going back to the HMI. All right, now we're going to go into this Rosemont to get into the menus. Most likely when you walk up, you'll see down here in the lower left corner, DL. That means display lock. That means these you will not be able to get into the menus until you unlock the display. To unlock the display, use the up arrow key, and you hold it for 15-20 uh, seconds or so. That red light will be flashing. And as you're holding it, as you see, the DL went away. Now the display is unlocked. And now to get into the menus, you hit the down arrow, then the down arrow again. Now you are in the menus. What you want to do now is go into basic setup to see what the span setting is for this flow meter. So arrow down. And then you're going to go into the right arrow, and that is saying, put me into the menu. And then you're going to scroll down to you see the URV and the LRV. Make sure your arrow is on, the, on that. Then you're going to go into that menu by the left button. And then you're going to go into the URV. Again with the left button. And this one is set up for 80, 80 gallons per minute. Yours may not be gallons per minute. It could be liters. It could be anything. But this one is set up for 80 gallons per minute. So now you, you're going to back out of it with the E button. Back out with the E button. And you're just going to keep backing out until you get to your main menu. <laughs> then you're going to come down to XMTR test. And then you're going to go into that. And what you want to do is a loop test. So down arrow to loop test. You're going to go into. And what this is, is it wants you to put in a milliamp. Because this is set up for 4 to 20. So that means that 4 milliamps, that's 0. 8 milliamps equals 25%. 12 milliamps equals 50%. 16 milliamps equals 75%. 20 milliamps equals 100%. <clears throat> so you come in and you want to go in, highlight the digit you want to change, and use the up and down arrow. So... I'm going to come in here, put in 4 milliamps, then I'm going to hit the E button to set it. It's going to say hit the E again to make sure it's set. And again, it's, now it's set to 4 milliamps. You go to your HMI, your HMI should read 0 of whatever unit you're in. Then you're going to go to... 8 milliamps or 25%. Come in here. Slide over to the digit. You're going to take it up to 8 milliamps. And if you go past, that's okay because you got a backup button or the down arrow key and you can go back to your 8 milliamps. Then hit your E button. Again, you want you to push E again. Now it's set up at E. 8 milliamps so now you're going to go to your display and it should read since this is set up for 80 gallons per minute it should read 20 gallons per minute on your hmi and then you'll continue to do that for 12 16 and 20 to make sure that it is reading like it is supposed to if it is reading like it's supposed to everything is in sync and you can go about your day 
Otherwise, if something's not in sync, it could be either the, the scaling of the flow meter or the scaling of the PLC are different, so you'll need to work with that. If it's still, after you are done and you're running your product and the flows are still not jiving with what you think they should be, uh, the electrodes on the inside of this tube could be dirty. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we made a video on how to clean the electrodes on that, and that may be your next step. Or, if you have other questions, you can call Powell Tech Service. Now that you're all done, there's not much you, else you have to do. If you're all done, you just back out with the E button. You just back out again with the E button. Back out with the E button. Now you're at the measure mode so what you're going to do now is you you always want to lock that display if you don't lock the display dirt dust or whatever could push these buttons because they're just uh infrared buttons of your finger and stuff and it will could change menu options so you always want to make sure your display is locked in the same way you unlocked it you lock it by holding your finger over the up arrow for 15 20 seconds or so until you see the DL show up on the flow meter and now the job this is ready to begin running production also remember I had in this example it was 80 gallons per minute remember that your milliamps of 4 8 12 16 and 20 is 0, 25, 50, 75, 100%. What you see on your display may be different depending on your units of value and what your span is in the flow meter and in the PLC than what you saw here today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also comment below on future ideas you'd like to see for maintenance videos. Also for more information, go to Apollo Solutions dot com on the web.